How's it going everyone? My name is Multi Necroman and today I'm going to show you how you can increase your FPS in League of Legends and actually increase your computer performance overall. If you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful, make sure to drop a like down below, it's much appreciated. And with that being said guys, let's get into it. The most critical thing you need for your PC in order for it to work at its max performance is to download the graphics drivers for your machine. I know this is in mostly all FPS tutorials, but I can't stress you guys enough with this, it makes a huge difference when you play on the lastest graphics drivers rather than playing on your old ones or none at all. So in order to download the right driver for you, you gotta check what graphics card you have. And if you don't know which one you have, all you got to do is to press the Windows and S key at the same time and you'll be prompted with this menu. When it opens up, just type in DXDAG and check Display 1 if you're on a PC and if you're on a laptop as I am right now, check both Display 1 and Display 2 because laptops usually come with integrated Intel graphics card and you don't really need the driver for that. You will need the main driver which is either AMD or Nvidia. Now that you know what graphics card you have, all you got to do is check the links I provided for you in the description down below with the direct download links for both AMD and Nvidia cards and download the automatic driver installer so the program will automatically detect for you what kind of model of graphics card you have and it will do all the work for you. The second thing we'll be doing in order to provide more FPS is to clean your windows of unnecessary files, download temporary files and a bunch of things that basically just slow down your PC for no reason. First things first, let's start with a disk cleanup. To do that, just press the file explorer, then go to disk PC and right here you'll see your local disk. If you have more than one local disk, you can do it to all of them, but basically we need to do it where the windows is installed. So you can delete all the temporary files, unnecessary files that stick with your PC forever if you don't delete them. So just right click on your local disk, go to properties, there you will see disk cleanup. Go ahead and press that and after it's done searching for its files, you will see this window. Here as you can see I've got 25.3 GB literally sitting with files I don't need and I will never use. So just select everything in here, press ok, wait for it to finish loading and you just got yourself some free space and less junk in your local disk. But since we are still here, close up the disk cleanup box and this time right click inside the white space. Go into the properties again then just select advanced system settings. Once this popped up, select settings in the performance tab and for the best performance you could select adjust for best performance but your windows will look absolutely terrible and it, it will feel bad to use overall. So what we are going to do here, just copy the settings on the screen right now. I found these settings to be the best for both visual and for performance use. Since we are done here, press apply then ok and now move on to the system protection and let's configure it. To configure this is fairly easy because I usually turn this off. I've never used this feature, probably you never did too, but it takes a lot of space from your PC and the resources as well to keep backing up data. So just go ahead and disable the system protection if you don't use it, then what I do is delete all the restore points because basically they just fill up my SSD for nothing. Once you're done here, click apply then ok and move on to the last tab which is remote. I always turn this off because I never want anyone to control my PC remotely and I guess neither do you. So just go ahead and disable that, press apply then ok and everything is saved. Moving on to the next thing for a boost of FPS, it would be to disable unwanted programs to run in the background while we play. And to do just that, right click on your taskbar, go into the task manager and here just select startup. Right here you will see all the programs that are starting as soon as you turn on your PC. While mine are mostly disabled, yours are probably not. And what you're gonna need to do is think of what you actually need as soon as you start up your PC. I will tell you how I do it for myself. For example, do I need Steam as soon as I open my PC? Of course not. If I want to open Steam, I'll open it myself. So just go ahead and disable all unwanted programs just like that that you don't need when you boot up your PC. I can clearly say which programs to disable since all of us are running different things on our PCs, but the best thing would be to disable most of the programs besides your antivirus, graphics card, third party apps that you might be using for your headphones, keyboards, RGB lights or anything like that. Once you're done, just close the window and all the settings are applied. Next thing on our list is changing the power plan of your PC to increase its max performance. And to do just that, go ahead and press the Windows key and the S at the same time. Once this menu pops up, type in choose the power plan and click the first option. Once this opens up, make sure you have the performance or best performance settings ticked. No matter if you're on a PC or a laptop, make sure this runs as a max performance option and it will make a huge difference on your machine overall. Moving on, we're gonna enable all your CPU cores in order for your PC to be at max performance while playing League or any other game. 
To do that, press the Windows key and S again at the same time, type msconfig and it will open up this little window. Once you're here, click on the boot tab and right where it says timeout, you'll probably have the value of 30. So go ahead and delete the zero, leave it as 3 seconds and what this does, it will boot up your PC, not in 30 seconds, but in 3 seconds without any harm done to your PC. Next click on advanced options and right here is the setting we've been looking for. For you the numbers of processors might be grayed out, so go ahead and tick the box to make it selectable and choose the max value you got for your processor. For me it's 16, for you it could be 8, 6, 4, it does not matter, just choose the highest number in here and you'll be good to go. Once you're done, click OK and move up to Tools tab. Here we'll be looking at Change UAC settings. Go ahead and select it, press Launch and this window will pop up. And here this bar put it down to never notify. What this does, it disables the annoying pop-ups when you try to open, download or do anything with your files. And overall it will improve the flow of your windows while using it. Once you're done, click OK and close all the open windows. Now to take full advantage of what we did in the beginning where we downloaded the graphics drivers, go ahead and open NVIDIA Control Panel. Once this window pop up, go to the left of the screen and select Adjust Image Settings with a preview and here make sure the middle setting is checked. Since we will be changing the settings ourselves, I don't recommend going into the third settings which is use my preference emphasizing and sliding this all the way to performance since this will not bring you a lot of FPS but it will only make your game look really bad and jaggery. So to change our settings ourselves, just click on take me there and now to not mess with all of your programs, make sure you go into the program settings right here and not onto the global settings because we only want to change the settings for League of Legends. Now just select League of Legends in the program selection and the only setting I change here are the texture filtering ones. Since these ones are the only settings that will make a huge impact while playing League and it will boost your FPS by quite a lot depending on your PC. Now that we are done here, click apply and close this window. Finally guys, we are done with the windows cleanup and all the necessary settings in order for it to work properly. Now we are going to change some settings to the game itself. The first thing we are going to do is right click on the league shortcut you got on your desktop, go to properties then select shortcut tab and press open file location. Right here is not where your league is actually installed but where the client is. To get to the league folder is fairly easy, just click on the Riot Games, up on the bar, then simply select League of Legends folder. Now just scroll down until you find League Client, right click it, go to Properties, then to the Compatibility tab. Right here make sure Disable Full Screen Optimization is ticked. I've tested out a bit and I found out this helps the game a little bit since Windows is not trying to optimize the game while it's in full screen. Now click apply then ok. Once this is closed, don't close the folder just yet. This step is for the people with really old PCs or for the people that are trying to stay at a higher FPS count without dropping frames that badly. And in order to do that, we're gonna set a custom resolution for League to run in, instead of the preset ones. To do just what I said, scroll back up to the config folder and right here we've got a file called game. To actually see what's inside of that file, you're gonna need to open it with notepad. Once we're here, you're gonna need to find height and width. As you can see, I'm running a resolution of 1080p, but you can choose any other resolution there is. For example, 800 by 600, which is a very low resolution. It's not even allowed by the game preset to even go that low, but we can change it from here. Basically, on that lower resolution, yes, the game will obviously look way worse than before, but you will gain a lot, and by a lot, I really mean a lot of frames just by changing this resolution alone. There are two low resolution you can test out: 640 by 8 by 480 and 800 by 600. Test both of them, see if they work for you, see if you can play with them and if you actually can you gain a lot of FPS. Moving on, on to the last step guys, what we're going to actually need to do is to boot up League and log in. Once you're logged in, go into the top right corner where this little setting is and click on it. Right away we're going to see a setting called enable low spec mode. Make sure you have that checked no matter what PC you have. I have a high end PC but I'm still running that low spec mode because it just helps out the game a lot, no matter the specs you have. Looking slightly below that low spec mode is another setting that we need to change and we're gonna have this one on always. Basically what it does when you start a game, the client is still open in the background, using valuable resources while you play the game and at first it might not seem much but in a 5v5 teamfight where a lot of things happen on your screen, your PC will be thankful that you close the client during the game so it can use all the resources for the game itself. 
We are done with this, so go ahead and close it. Now let's just boot up a game and change the league settings. Once you're in a custom game, press escape and it will open up your settings. Click on the video tab and right here on the resolution. If you did a previous step, don't change anything. But if you didn't, choose depending on your PC specs. For example, if you have a mid-high-end PC, choose the highest value, which for me is right now is 1080p. For you it could be more, for you it could be less, just choose the setting with the star next to it. And for the people with low mid-end PCs that skip the previous step, just choose the lowest resolution possible, as this will help out the game a lot. Next we got a window mode. Always have window mode on full screen, as this provides the best FPS in the game. And this is why we disabled full screen optimization earlier, in order for this to work at max performance. Next up, make sure hide eye candy is ticked, since this is only for ambient effects that you don't really need. Now for the graphics, make sure everything is set on very low for maximum performance. A lot of esports players play on very low settings, for example Reckless, and you would want that as well. Because not only it gives you better frames, but it actually makes the effects less visible. So you can actually see more of what's actually happening instead of just seeing flashy lights. Character inking does not really affect the FPS, so that is your setting of preference. But playing on very low settings with ink on, in my opinion, it just makes the game look worse. On frame rate cap, you always want to cap your frames and not let them run around like crazy. So what I would do, I would match my frames cap to my monitor hertz. So for example, if you have a 60 hertz monitor, make sure your frames are stuck at 60 FPS. If you have 120 hertz monitor, lock your frames at 120 FPS and so on for each setting and this will allow the game to run more smoothly and will not use resources unnecessarily and the last thing make sure this is turned off because it eats a lot of resources as for vertical sync if you are on a laptop try playing a game with vertical sync on and a game with it off and see which one is better for your laptop i've tested it out on two laptops and i got two different results depending on your laptop so you have to test it out for yourself but for PC users, make sure this is unticked at all times because it will never help you with anything. It will just make your game more laggy. As for the accessibility tab, it's all your preference. You can go crazy with the brightness, colors, everything. It will not affect your FPS. One more thing and we are done guys, in the same menu navigate to the interface tab, make sure enable hood animation and show halbar animations are both unticked. Now scroll down to the end where it says combat text, the only thing you really need as a text on your screen is the gold, the other combat text in my opinion are just distraction and that text is just show up and it will cost you FPS in many teamfights. So it's better to turn it off and see what's happening than to see just random numbers at all times helping you with nothing. Well that was it guys, you've got a free fresh clean windows, a brand new league with more FPS, hope this video really helped you out and if it did make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to never miss a new video. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll be seeing you tomorrow with my next video.